Good afternoon YouTube. It's been a while. Had some spring break. Vacation come up. I have a few videos I want to post from that. But I wanted to get back in the backyard and post some uh, chainsaw videos. I had a couple friends, Kevin and Kevin, two Kevins, two Kevins as my kids would say. And they brought me some chainsaws and so let's take a look at them. Kevin, you can find him on Big Ash Bowls on Instagram. I'll post his site here. He has had the 372 for a while. He had a big bore kit put on it. And he said he just wasn't running good. Start up, wouldn't idle well. So I put a new carburetor on there. Didn't want to fuss with rebuilding the carb. And it seems like it's running so far. So this, it'll be a first cut for that one since I rebuilt it. Uh, Kevin number two. I'll post his Instagram also, Kevin Richards. There is his 395 that he picked up for a song. It's a little ugly on the outside. It had some JB Weld. Someone did a little JB Weld fix there. Uh, kind of cracking right here, but this thing starts and runs. A little 20 inch bar on there. And that is a steel mount bar. And I put a little, I have a little mount that'll make steel mount on Husqvarna. And the last, one of my favorite, is the Makita. The Dolmar Makita 6421. Big Ash Bulls. Kevin uh, sent me two of them. One of them was Kevin Richards and the other one was his. There was a broken handle on one of them and there was a broken case so I took the good parts from both of them and made a good running one. And so that's what we have right now. So, we're fire them all up, stick them into a piece of a lipo pine, and see how they run. Good old 6421. I believe, in my opinion, one of the better saws made. Really a workhorse. You can upgrade it to a 79cc top end. They have some aftermarket ones. You can actually buy the standard ones for about $200 and bump this up to an 80cc saw.
somewhat tuned up saws the 372 with a 24 inch bar and I understand I understand that people are gonna be like that's not a true comparison the 72 cc saw it's actually like a 78 I think because it's a big bore kit versus the 94 cc saw versus the 64 cc saw isn't a true comparison because 20 inch 20 inch versus 24 inch okay I understand I just wanted to cut with them see how they cut the saw with the the 372, in my opinion, had the best chain, the sharpest chain. I think Kevin got that. Looks like it's out of the box, brand new. Hasn't been touched. 372 running strong, running good. This uh, is the old style, the non-X Torque. A lot of people like this better. Says say it's more robust, a little bit better, uh, better saw. Oils good, runs good, cuts good. So we did some noodling. You ever want to make some bedding for some animals? Just get a saw and you cut with the grain just like that and it makes the best noodles. Fire starter, tinder, bedding, whatever you want to call it. So 372. Awesome, awesome workhorse saw. Probably, arguably one of the best saws made by Husqvarna. They've been trying to uh, replace it. I heard of a uh, 572 coming out because they have the 576 but anyways awesome saw right there that one's gonna be a workhorse Kevin you're gonna like that another one that's a good saw Sh chain is not as sharp as I like it but it's running good it seems like it runs a little bit rich and it probably needs to run rich the 6421 64 cc saw but hey it starts it runs it idles from two junk saws there's a good saw right there and the 395 XP, of course, running a skip tooth, 20 inch bar. It can do a lot, but it likes to fly through that pine. Uh, that can handle a, a 48 inch, 36 inch, three foot, four foot bar, no problem. Good for slabbing. So, in my opinion, that works well. It does smoke a lot. I know Kevin did some uh, sea foam treatment with it, and that muffler might need to look at. I'll take a look at it when it cools down. But there are the three saws, not really versus each other, but just kind of cutting. I could probably use a little bit of tuning. I also have a new phone that I've been recording with my phone most of the time, and this is the I, uh, LG V20. So I'm going to kind of see how it turns out this time, how the video is, how the audio is. Normally I use like a little extra audio piece with my old Galaxy 5. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Shoot me your questions your way. Shoot me. I always get. Send me questions, comments, hate mail, whatever it is. If you're in the Phoenix area and you want to talk saws, you want to go camp, you want to go hiking, hunting, fishing, cutting wood, 
need me to look at a saw, bring it by. I like to look at saws if I have time. I'll I'll look at it, and uh, I usually don't charge too much. I just enjoy doing the work on them. So um, shoot me some comments in there. We'll make some best friends. I have a Instagram account, and um, of course this is a YouTube account. So share my videos with like-minded individuals. Have a wonderful afternoon. A good day. Adios.